All right, guys, we're back here with another quick DIY video on the second generation Cadillac CTS. Uh, this was actually a viewer request on how to clean the throttle body on this vehicle. Now, I actually cleaned my throttle body about a year ago for the first time um, since I've owned this vehicle. Um, getting pretty close to 100,000 miles on this vehicle. Uh, I think it was about 90,000 miles when I cleaned it last, so I don't expect it to be very dirty, um, but I do have some pictures that I took uh, last time around, uh, so I'll show you those, and well, it will be interesting to see um, if it got very dirty in the last year. Um, there's probably only been um, somewhere around 10, 12,000 miles put on it since I cleaned it last, so I don't expect much, and it doesn't really need it, but can't hurt either. All right, so the throttle body on this vehicle is right back in this area. And so the first thing we're gonna wanna do is remove the uh, engine cover here. And it's pretty simple. Um, take off the uh, oil cap first. And then just pull up on the cover. And it'll pop it. And so the way that works basically is there are four of these mounts here and they slide down on four little posts on top of the engine. Um, so when you go to put it back on you just kind of feel around and line that up and it snaps back down. Um, now at this point what I would recommend doing is putting the oil cap back on just to, uh, just for safety so that nothing falls down inside there. All right, so the next thing we're going to want to do uh, in order to clear room to remove the throttle body is to remove this assembly here. And there's just two hose clamps, one here and one here, and we can uh, pull that off with a simple flat blade screwdriver. And just get that, lay that out of the way. And so this is what we're after right here. This is the throttle body. All right, so next we've got four bolts. Uh, these are 10 millimeter bolts. And so one, two, three, and four. Um, so we'll remove those. Alright, so you can see it's loose now, and we're just going to pull it off. And we do have this electrical connection here, and so this is probably the trickiest part is getting this uh, electrical connection out of the way. And so basically the way this uh, connection works is first you're going to want to pull this uh, gray, uh, these gray tabs out. You can see how that's pulled that direction now. Okay, so we've got that tab pulled out like that, and then we're going to want to push down on this center black part. And that lets us unplug it like that. And as expected, you can see mine is really not very dirty. Um, uh, we just did this about a year ago. We do have some build up here, but it's really probably not causing any issues as far as how the vehicle's running. But we'll go ahead and give it a good scrub anyway, just while we have it apart. All right, so I like to do this outside because then you don't have to worry about making a mess. Just lay down an old rag. Um, got another old rag here, and this is a just a small brush. This has plastic bristles. I don't think that using a metal bristle brush would be a great idea, but I don't. You know, if I'm wrong about that, you can comment uh, down below. Uh, but anyway, and then just some uh, good old throttle body cleaner. And you can pick this up at Walmart in the automotive aisle or AutoZone or whatever. And so we're just going to want to spray this down. And you can sort of see some of that stuff running off. Grime. And so let it sit for a few seconds and you can kind of wipe it down. There's not a whole, not a whole lot coming off on mine.
and if you need to um, you can push this out of the way like that and hold it open and uh, that'll let you get down in there and clean out any grime uh, where you're not able to reach. Now again, mine's really pretty clean. When I did this a year ago, it took a while to really get it to knock down all the all the grind. Um, so it won't if it, if yours hasn't been done ever or in a really long time, it won't it won't be quite this easy. Um, and I apologize about all the annoying dogs in the background. I figured, hey, this is a nice day to do this outside. It warmed up a little bit, but. Yes, these are the annoying neighborhood dogs I live with. And you can tell by what little is on this old rag that probably didn't really need it, but hey, it didn't hurt. All right, so you can see nice and clean now. Um, not a whole lot different than before, um, but that's, that's about what it should look like uh, when it's actually clean. Uh, you can see nice and shiny. All right, so putting it on is basically the reverse of what we just did, but I will go ahead and touch on this plug again just to make sure that there's no confusion there. And so a lot easier to put this plug on than it was to take it off. Just push it until it clicks. And don't forget once it's clicked in place to push this, this gray part back in. And so the uh, plug should be in the back here and uh, line up the holes. I like to just finger tight these top two. And then just get the bottom two started as well, but it's really want to leave all that loose um, until you get them threading. So basically, uh, once you think they're all threaded, just give them a pull. And if they don't come out, you've got them started. And once all four are lined up, then you can safely tighten them all down without having to worry about if, any, if everything is lined up. And so if yours is or was super dirty, this can definitely help with problems with the engine idling and even improve your gas mileage some. Um, and then there's some discussion about basically going through a relearn procedure for the throttle body. I mean, basically, I never did. Your your car uh, car's computer will automatically do that uh, during the first, you know, so many engine cycles and driving uh, on its own. So you really shouldn't have to do anything. Um, but there is a process you can go through uh, if you don't want to wait on the engine to do it on its own. And um, I'll put a link to that process in the uh, in the video description below. Uh, like I said, I never did that a year ago, and I never had any problems. But I guess if yours is really dirty, then your results may vary on whether you need to do that or not. And so you just want these snug. You don't want to go crazy on them because you are uh, these are going into plastic here. 
and I'm sure there's a rating for how many foot-pounds and maybe I'll look that up and put it in the video but I've always just snugged it back up and uh, never had any problems uh, knock on wood all right so now we're just gonna put this back in slide it on And there is a little, uh, a little guide here to make sure you've got it lined up correctly. And then we'll go ahead and snug these two screws back down. And that's basically it. We'll go ahead and start the car and make sure everything is okay. Alright, so we're back inside the uh, car here. And we're just going to start it real quick and make sure nothing crazy going on with the idle. Um, mine was pretty dirty last time and I ended up um, wiping down and spraying down the uh, where the inside of where the um, throttle body attaches to and got a little probably got some of the cleaner down in the uh, in the intake there a little bit and so mine did hesitate a little bit the first time I went to start it up uh, likely burning that off I don't expect that to happen this time because I didn't really go to that extent this time just didn't think it needed it And everything seems to be normal. All right, the only thing left to do is put the engine cover back on. Uh, so obviously take that oil cap back off first. And uh, like I said, there's these four posts here and just kind of, I always find it helpful to line up the, uh, the oil fill area first and then kind of feel your way back onto those four posts. And so, if it's on there right, it should be nice and tight. Alright, that about does it for this video. I hope it helps somebody. Um, if you guys have any requests that you'd like to see on the, this vehicle or the uh, 2008 uh, CTS that I also do videos on, uh, feel free to leave a comment. I'll always consider them. And uh, if this uh, helped you out, I hope you'll consider subscribing. <laughs>